Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Ang sino mang lingkod bayan ay may tungkuli na pinanumpaan. Nanumpa na maglilingkod ng buong puso batay sa tanggapan na kanyang pamumunuan. Bago ang lahat, mamamayan muna. Ito ang palatuntunang maglalahat ng mga tuwirang impormasyon upang magsilbing gabay ng ating mga nanunungkulan saan mang tanggapan ang pamahalan para sa kapakanan ng mamamayan. Bago ang lahat, mamamayan muna. Maglalatak ng na mga naangkop na payo para sa lahat ng mamamayan na umaasam ng tunay na pagbabago at kaginhawakan sa buhay. Bago ang lahat, mamamayan muna. At ngayon, narito ang inyong lingkod, Cora Alma de Leon. Wala yung nakalagay. Magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Please like and share our live video in our FB page, Broad Streamcast Communicators. Follow me on Facebook at Corazon Alma de Leon. Or you may contact me at 0918-913-3546. Tamang-tama po ngayon, starting November, mga educators po ang ating uh, panahuin dahil as arranged by Dr. Raymond Arcega. Diretso na tayo sa programa. Uh, ang bisita natin, nakalagay na dito, Dr. Elena E. Presnedi, Presnedi President ng um, University of uh, Man, ano nga ito? Mari, ano, si Muntinlupa. Tama? Muntinlupa. Okay, sisimulan natin programa We start with a prayer for the nation. Lord, let me be the change I want to see. To do with strength and wisdom all that needs to be done and become the hope that I can be. Set me free from my fears and hesitations. Grant me the courage and humility. Fill me with spirit to face the challenge and start the change I long to see. Even if I'm not the light, I can be the spark in faith service and communion. Let us start the change we want to see, the change that begins in me. At sa pagkada ko'y nagsilbi sa pamahalan ng 34 years, ay meron po akong pinaniwala ang panunumpa sa watawat. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisan na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambay ng mga Diyos makakalikasan, makatao at makabansa. Panunumpa ng mga kawani ng gobyerno. Ako'y kawani ng gobyerno. Tungkulin ko ang maglingkod ng tapat at mahusay. Dahil dito ako'y papasok ng maaga at magtatrabaho ng lampasatak ng oras kung kinakailangan. Magsisilbi ako ng magalang at mabilis sa lahat ng nangangailangan. Pangangalagaan ko ang mga gamit, kasangkapan, at iba pang pag-aari ng pamahalaan, magiging pantay at makatarungan ang pakikitungo ko sa mga lumalapit sa aming tanggapan. Magsasalita ako laban sa mga katiwalian at pagsasamantala. Hindi ko gagamitin ang aking pananungkulan sa sarili kong kapakanan. Hindi ako hihingi o tatanggap ng suhol. Sisikapin kong madaggagan ang aking talino at kakayahan upang ang antas ng paglilingkod sa bayan ay patuloy na may taas sapagkat ako'y kawani ng gobyerno at tungkulin ko ang maglingkod ng tapat at mahusay sa bayan ko. At sa panahong ito, ako at ang aking kapwa-kawani 
ay kailangan tungo sa isang maunlad, masagana at mapayapang Pilipinas. Sa harap ninyong lahat, ako'y taos pusong nanunumpa. Raymond Arcega, babasahin ko naman yung aking reflection for today. Today is Thursday. Today, once again, we thirst for freedom to choose our leaders. But before we can choose and decide, we need to discern. To discern is to study the best way we can, the qualities needed in that exercise of leadership. Today, we continue the task of highlighting those who have shown love of country by demonstrating that indeed public office is a public trust. Public trust is demonstrated by the work achieved in their carrying of their tasks with great fervor and passionate anonymity. But it is precisely that their diligence in carrying the responsibilities have been noticed for their achievements more than the usual. What have they shown? Their passion for reason to be the best that they can be while in their work has been noteworthy, it is important to give notice so they can be exemplars. Today, in Bago Ang Lahat, Mamamayan Muna, we once again are relentless, unceasing, and unstoppable, the Red, Qu Red Crossway, as we honor the teachers, the educators in their, in their own fields, aware as we are that they are very much needed. In addition, meron din message sa atin si uh, retired Chief Justice Ju uh, Hilarion Davide Jr. when he wrote, Today is Thursday, November 4, as we recall All Souls Day and continue our march to final victory against COVID-19. May we be reminded when our time on earth is done according to the plan of our God of infinite love, mercy, and compassion, Money, fortune, power, and fame would not count or matter. We cannot enjoy or be proud of them anymore. If we wrongfully obtain, they are passports to the fiery pit. But the love and compassion we generously shared and gave to others to the wise use of our God-given talent, time and treasure will forever shine and live, and God may not be reluctant to reward us with eternal joy and peace in this loving presence. God bless us and our loved ones always. Ito yung special message sa ating program na ito na tamang-tama, dedicated na rin to sa ating guest, si Dr. Elena E. Presnedi. At tutugtugin na natin yung ating yan ang Pilipino. Ang Pilipino na iiba na tatangi Alamin ang mga gintuang katangian ng ating dakilang lahi. Kasan ito'y sasagipin pangangalagaan Yan ang Pilipino Mapalad ang lahing ito Likas ang talino Kailangan ng mundo Ang Pilipino Mapagmahal ang lahi ko May tapang malasakit kami mga Pilipino, mapalad ang lahing ito, ikas ang talino, payabumin natin to. Ang Pilipino, mapagmahal ang lahi ko, masipag malikhain yan ang Pilipino. Ah 
Maraming maraming salamat kay Kinan Sonia Rojo for making this song possible for us to use in our program. Uh, Dire-diretso na tayo, uh, si Dr. Raymond Arcega ang in-charge ng pag ng mga educators ngayon sa atin sapagkat siya ang nakakakilala sa kanila. Kaya ako naman yung clueless, ako naman yung maraming tanong. Hindi ba? <laughs> <laughs> so ang unang tanong, of course, Dr. Eliana, Presnedi, alam ko sa Muntinlupa, I think there was an event na I met you there nung nagkaroon ng isang function doon, no? I remember. And it was uh, such a fun thing. Pero siguro, um, I'd like to know, I'd like to meet you in a way by knowing where you're from, uh, who are your parents, of course we know who your husband is, kumbaga, and then what, what was your education? Kasi yung mga nanonood sa atin, interesado sila palagi sa background information. Carry on, Dr. Presnedi. Uh, mapagpalang gabi po <laughs> sa ating lahat, lalo na sa mga audience na I think we're live, no? Yes. And so, I'm very uh, pleased and uh, privileged to join this uh, Unscheduled. <laughs> I was told by <laughs> Dr. Arcega. Hindi ko talaga siya maindian. In the same manner, hindi niya ako maindian. <laughs> Thank you so much, sa uh, Madam uh, Cora Alma de Leon. I remember very well, no, yung tagline nyo when you, we were we invited you as the speaker, commencement sp speaker for our graduate uh -huh. study. Graduate uh -oh. school siya yun, no? Na yung tagline nyo na volunteerism. Yes. Parang yun yung heart ng puso nyo. Kaya <laughs> even now I can see na despite, no? Uh, you're into public service. Alam ko ang public service, eh, yan, public free, no? And yet, yes. because of the heart to serve the people, you're giving your talent your expertise, your experience na cannot be paid, no? Dahil cannot be compensated. Uh, 
yun ang nakita ko na talagang you're giving your best to the people. You are people uh, person, meaning ganun kasi galing kay sa ang dami n'yong pinanggalingan, civil service, di ba? So I, I I don't know kung sa DSW din ba, galing din po kayo doon. Yes. So talagang people oriented kayo, no? Uh, in uh, in terms of service excellence, yun yung pinagkatapos lang namin pag-uusap, service excellence. Uh, no wonder we uh, become closer to the people when we give our hearts, uh, not just our not just our minds, but our emotions, our feelings. Now uh, they can they can empathize. We can empathize with them, no? Uh, so by way of serving, yung ating mga hands uh, will serve as form of service. Yung yes. po yun. Uh, uh, Alam mo, doon sa, parang, go ahead. Doon sa pinanggalingan ko po, ano, I was born uh, from Goa, Camarinesur. Ah, oh, Bicolana. Po, oh. I'm a Bicolana and I studied in college, Ateneo Dinaga. At that time, Ateneo Dinaga College pa siya. Now it's Ateneo Dinaga University. And I took up, uh, I worked uh, a very long time with a multi-global American company. Uh, I do not know. Uh, it's 3M worldwide. No? Yes. But we have, we have here 3M Philippines. So yes. I worked there for a, quite a long time. In fact, I retired uh, my mandatory retirement uh, at 60. No? So yung pong, uh, I, I finished my, my Bachelor of uh, Business Administration, major in accountancy, and uh, I happened to be a Sir CPA. Certified. No? Yes, po. And uh, I took up my master in entrepreneurship in Asian Institute of Management uh, under ni Prof. Morato. Actually, isa si Prof. Lopez sa mga naging professors dun, dun sa master in entrepreneurship. But uh, I took up my, you know, my uh, uh, doctorate degree in uh, Philippine uh, Christian University. Yes, Ma educational management po. Yun po, education, de uh, education degree. Mm -hmm. So, and then after working in, a, uh, in an environment, in a private company where 3M, uh, is well known up to this point as a yes. very ethical company. Ethical and innovative company that they allotted time like 25% uh, of the time uh, it's allotted to innovation, producing new products. It continues to innovate. No? Yeah. Like uh, uh, existing products can be uh, improved then you call it uh, another another uh, product no that can that can cater to the needs of the uh -oh. consumers oh yun po so my orientation actually is more on uh this private is... no so private kaya uh -huh. well, well uh, i started in in accounting because uh, that's my li uh, my line no but uh, over the years in 3M, uh, I was exposed to different uh, different departments except sales. Di po ako napunta sa sales. But uh, I had a short stint in HR, uh, procurement, customer service, uh, even yung customs, uh, brokers, mga ganun. Uh, napakalawak po nung ano, eh, kasi... Sa, sa 3M at that time, we are allowed to, uh, if you want to uh, experience in, the, as long as you are qualified, you can apply, and then you can yeah. have it. Ganun po yon. And uh, at that time naman, hindi masyadong nire-require nila. 
ang master's degree. But yes. uh, because I'm for, I foresee, uh, yeah, my foresight then. Na after working, what will I do? Sabi kung ganon. So I was encouraged yeah. to. Uh, while still in 3M then, I took up my Master in Entrepreneurship. So, yun po yun. And uh, sabi ko, uh, I love working. <laughs> it's not just a job for me. Kasi working is a mission for me. In the same yeah. manner, you know, when I came here in PL Moon, my mindset then, uh, it's my mission. <laughs> Kasi, kumbaga sa ano, Naranasan ko na yung magtrabaho with uh, yung you are earning. You are well compensated. Oh, kasi sa American company, uh, you are being paid yes. up to the last cent, no? Na na nirerender mo. Ah, uh, talagang ano siya, yung equitable ganyan pagdating sa compensation. But in public, uh, I have no uh, I have less expectation as to earning. Kasi, yun na nga yun. Ang concept ko nun, it's a mission and therefore, uh, it's more of giving rather than receiving. Yun po yung aking naging mindset. So, when I came here, so, yun pa rin hanggang ngayon. Thank you po. <laughs> uh, well, obvious naman na when you move to the academe, Clearly, ang concern mo, yung education ng mga taga-muntinlupa, no? And ako, ang nare-remember ko sa, ano, sa 3M, scotch tape. Yes. Natatandang ko, the best scotch tape. Uh, Lahat po na scotch tape. Pag sinabi, 3M. <laughs> diba? Kaya, kaya natatandaan ko, yung parang branding, pag sinabi 3M, magaling na produkto. Kaya, yes po, quality. Yes, quality. And I remember a cousin in the States, sabi na, pag bibili ka ng anything, kailangan 3M. Because America, 3M talaga popular. But anyway, ang nakita ko ngayon, and I think the reason uh, Raymond uh, wanted all of the heads of uh, kanyang under his wings, lahat ng mga presidente ng mga eskwela, we wanted to see kung ano yung mga challenges na hinarap nila, paano nila na face yun. Tapos, the future, kasi I put a lot of emphasis also on education to change our country. Kasi hindi talaga magbabago yung pangyayari, nangyayari sa atin, kung hindi tayo mismo, mga nagtuturo, eh, mababago. Because I myself, I retired uh, before I was 60 sa Civil Service Commission. And I also became faculty member of UP School of Public Work, uh, Public Administration. I also taught at uh, Asian Social Institute and also at the Ateneo School of Government. That's where I taught the most. Sa paniniwala ako kasi, one should not stop teaching kasi mas marami kang, mas marami kang maiiwan. Mas marami kang mga, mga matutulungan kapag you're in the field of education. Kaya, in a way, it is saluting you. Uh, at saka ang pangalan mo, parang Reyna Elena. You are the queen of... <laughs> yung Elena is... Sa amin, pag may, pag may posisyon, Reyna Elena, pinakasikat ang Reyna Elena. Di ba? Kaya, ako po, who, ako po ngayon ang queen name. mother. Ako po ngayon ang oh, queen, queen mother. mother sa yes. <laughs> oh, 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 tama, tama. Ngayon, Bibigyan ko na ng pagkakataon si Raymond na magtanong kasi sabi ko, pag ang mga guests ay eh, mga cohorts na, ako naman ang magtatanong. Pag ang mga guests ay eh, hindi niya masyadong kilala, dalawa lang ang tinatanong niya. Ang tinatanong niya, background, at saka kung sino iboboto. Pero dito ay hindi natin tatanong yon Tatanong lang natin yung ano yung nakikita na dapat mangyari sa bayan natin. So Raymond, your turn. Baka may ako na babasahin ng mga nagla-light sa atin. Maraming salamat, uh, Secretary Galion. At uh, napakaraming maraming salamat sa kay Dr. Uh, Presnedi, no? the President Emeritus of Pamantasan ng Lunsod ng Muntinlupa, sa isang paanyaya 
a uh, few minutes before the opening of the radio program uh, uh <laughs> yes no? it's about um, <laughs> we were together in a session in a conference few minutes before the program and i'm so happy that uh, even if there was a short notice to dr presnedi she did not deny no? the bago ang lahat mamayan muna of our invitation uh this is the new uh breed of leadership the mama no unang panahon hindi ka pwedeng uh, basta na lang tatawag no kinaka lang may sulat ka may protocols no you have to get confirmation but imagine it's just about 10 5 minutes before the opening of the program so yun lang gusto kong susugan na uh, president dr presnedi no uh, yung leadership no uh, sa walong taon no oh, mahigit na nasa pamantasan kayo ng muntik lupa no bilang uh, university president no uh and of course at 3M no? marami po tayong natutunan no at mga na-realize ng sa leadership Maaaring interesado po ang ating mga tagapakinig ngayon ano uh, ng inyong konsepto no ng leadership na gusto niyo pong ipahagi sa ating mga uh, kababayan ngayon hapon ito. Pag sinabi pong leadership ma'am no ano po yung mga natatak no yung mga na-realize niyo pag sinabing uh, no, leadership. Okay pa. Salamat po. Uh, actually oh get good question. Uh, as far as leadership is concerned No, uh, I have always this concept of two things. One is a uh, character, mm-hmm. meaning uh, it should go with integrity. No, because how can people uh, trust you if you are not a person of integrity? na you are saying something but you're doing some uh, differently at their back probably uh, because uh, that's behind the scene but because i uh, well i to be honest i really live a godly life because i have my faith in god through jesus christ so i cannot deny my faith Now what I what I believe I should profess and what I profess I should act on it no kaya uh, siguro yung character na yon uh, you are more or less sabihin natin it's not totally free na wala kang guilty conscience <laughs> oo na baka may naghahabol sa iyo na may may kailangan mong pagtaguan no lalo na kung marami ikaw may mga utang ka o yung mga <laughs> sources of income mo no uh, para pa, hindi siya transparent ay naku malak sobrang sakit ng ulo yon so yeah. as far as uh, as far as uh, um, money is concern no uh, iyan yung ano sabi ko nga Last time may tinanong sa akin, ano ba daw yung ano, ano daw ba yung magiging uh, causes of um, causes of sin, no? Yes. Yung la, the pride of life, the mm. last of the flesh, no? Yeah. Uh, I forgot the other one. But these two things, no? Kasi yes. pagka marami yung greediness, instant, uh, if you are being greedy, no? Na you cannot um, control. Uh, yes. Para bang addiction yun eh. Na you yes. want something to acquire more. Even yeah. it's beyond your means. Yeah. So, because I do not know. Maybe it's uh, your pride, uh, you are proud and arrogant. Na sabihin mo, uh, I'm... Like uh, this. Uh, Oo, oh, ako. Mataas ako, mataas ako. Na uh, powerful ako. So, mm. andun, yung, uh, andun yung pressure to cope up. Even... If it's even if your uh, resources are very limited, no? Because if you are a public servant, you cannot. Uh, well, sabi, uh, of, of course, sabi ni Doctor Arsega, hindi ka kahit na poor ka, you don't show yourself as poor, no? <laughs> But, uh, hindi naman na ibig sabi na poor in the sense na may uh, yung yung in terms of cleanliness, no? Ma ano yon na uh, ma hindi mo magawa yon basic kasi yon basic so that's uh, i think uh, i value kaya 
even here, I have, a, uh, by God's grace, I haven't had any uh, audit observation as far as uh, money is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, so, because I practice good governance, actually, isa din yan sa, ano eh, sa uh, priority uh, areas ng mayor. So, I live up to that. No, mm -hmm. yung good governance. Yes. Uh -oh. And then the mm -hmm. second one is uh, competence. Obviously, kasi leadership, uh, you need to lead, no? Yes. Oh, sabi nga dyan, uh, if you just keep on leading but no one is following you, no, anong tawag You're na? not the leader. <laughs> You're not the leader. Kasi well, nobody is following you, eh. Ha? Uh -huh. Oh. So you you don't have the direction, you don't have the vision, no, you don't have the strategy. So, uh, and uh, this requires competence. Kailangan mo may kahit sabihin natin na uh, sad to say na yung ating mga nasa taas, no, na mga national leaders. While para kasi masyadong na simplify, uh -huh. no? if you can just read or write enough for you to run. Yes. No? For Ma public office. Mukhang ano yun, uh, masyadong, uh, ano ba, na-simplify yung, ano, yung office. It's not mm. that. Uh -oh. May, well, wala naman tayong discrimination doon, di ba? Yeah. But we have to admit yung capacity, capability. Kasi leadership is influence. How can you influence them? If you don't have anything in your mind, wala yeah. kang kaalam-alam. No, magpatakbo. Paano ka mag uh, strategize? Paano ka mag set ng vision? Paano ka mag uh, Well, there are so many things that you need to do as a leader. So, mm. first things eh dapat you have those uh, those uh, traits na mm. in terms of uh, quali educational qualification, uh, your uh, experience, no? Exposure no uh, uh, pagdating sa yun sa networking linkages kaya because we cannot live alone uh, yeah. by ourselves we need to connect hindi hindi ibig sabihin nung araw ang concept ko kasi ng connection kaya i'm very <laughs> detached when i was in yes. private no i was very detached kasi uh, sabi ko uh, connection ano yun ibig sabihin ng my connection <laughs> no parang dadaanin mo sa yes, yes. Uh, no, no, para uh, you can uh, have business or you get employed, no, you get contracts. May mga ano, uh, yung mindset ko nung last time, no. But uh, when I came no. here, no, uh, it's different under the administration. Uh, hindi no. dahil uh, related sa akin ang mayor, but no. he is uh, a living example, no. Yeah. Ng, uh, integrity and competence. He's really a worker, no? Uh, when it comes to promises, ma kunti lang siya mag-promise, but he but over he delivers. delivers. Oh, yeah. mas madami yung binibigay niya. Mas marami yung binideliver niya versus dun sa promise niya. Kasi kunti lang siyang magsalita. <laughs> He's a man uh -huh. of action. Isa man na ba siya? Kaya marami siyang accomplishments. Uh -huh. so I think yung two things na yun, no? no honesty. Kasi, oo, mm -hmm. honesty. Yo. Kasi yeah. yung nang integrity na dapat you, you live as uh, yung hindi ka two-faced. <laughs> no? Mm -hmm. Na kaharap ka, ganun. Nakangiti uh -huh. siya. Pag, pag nakatalkod ka, iba pala yung sinasabi. I cannot do that, no? Uh, kasi I have the fear of the Lord That's what I practice Oo. Sabi ko nga Siguro kung ang mga leaders Merong fear of the Lord Therefore Hindi ganito hindi, oo. Kasi, <laughs> Alam nila na Whether Whatever they do God cannot You cannot hide, no? mm. you cannot hide. Oo. Whether you do it in secret You do it in In public it's it's known to God. That's yeah. uh, that's my understanding. That's my conviction. Yeah. I uh, I uh, always practice yung 
uh, again, I owe, owe it to my faith in God, no? Na yung conviction ko, I can I can practice is because I always pray. Alam ni Dr. <laughs> Raymond yan, Arcega, na I always pray, I always consult God, no? Uh, hindi ako kasi yung tipong maraming kinaikwentuhan. <laughs> kasi, no, I'm not sure kasi whom to trust. No, yun din ang problema ko. May <laughs> problema din ako sa ganon. No? But once I trust the person, parang open naman ako. No? But uh, yun, yun isa, isa din palang weakness yun na pag nag-open up ka. Kaya I really, res- I am a reserved person. <laughs> Yes. And what more, hindi ako masyadong social. But, <laughs> but, you're, mag- but you're, <laughs> you're so alive. Kaya babasahin ko na yung mga comments, ano? Kasi I don't want to lose them. From Mabel Roa, good afternoon po. I am sure Dr. Presnedi is imparting her spirituality, values, skills, and experiences in 3M to the students of the university. They're lucky to have her as present emeritus. God bless Si Evelyn Roda, taga ano to? Taga Maryland. Naging staff ko sa civil service. Nanonood, nakikinig. Si Jinky Bueno, Iliot. Mapagpalang araw po mga mga loyalists ito. Nakikinig sa amin ni Raymond. Si Angelica Paz. Blessed Thursday to all. Um, and uh, Dr. Presnedi, more power and God guide us all. Keep safe po always. Rosary Tirante, good afternoon, Dr. Raymond, Secretary Cora, and Dr. Elena. Greetings from Diliman Educational Corporation. So yun muna, and I'm sure there are others. Ang nakita ko ngayon dito, no? Uh, kasi sinabi ni Presidente Duterte, ang lalabanan niya, kaya siya nanalo, lalabanan niya droga, lalabanan niya korupsyon, lalabanan niya criminality, tatlo. Ang tawag ko nga, DCC. Di, kaya siya ngayon sinisisi. Dahil hindi ano, <laughs> dahil hindi naman nangyari sa kabuuan, I'm not saying walang nangyari. Pero kapag ang pananaw mo sa droga, eh kapulisan, hindi tama yun. Pag ang um, paniniwala mo sa corruption, ay at wala kang ginagawa na mapunta yung mga corrupt. Sa, kasi kinuwento sa amin nung ano, nung isang na-interview namin na about 100 people ah, kinwento ni Shell Shell uh, na tumatakbong senador ano? uh, joke no ang sabi niya ang, oo, ang, nahuli, ang nahuli na 100 na kailangan na makulong pero hindi makita, bakit? naka-abroad na, may pera na eh naka-abroad na so habang gano'n na nangyayari sa bayan natin, we can never really address corruption kasi nakakalusot. And yet, punong-puno ang pres- presuhan natin. Kaya nga yung advocacy ko, yung mga matagal na nakapagsilbi sa preso, eh i-release na para hmm. wag na makasikip pa sa, ano, sa presuhan. I'm sure, you're in Montelupa, nakita mo ng klase hmm. ng preso, yes. meron tayo. Yes. Kahiyahiya. Kasi kung makakapunta ka sa mga... Uh, prison farms, whether in England, in America, eh kaibang kaibang, very humane, very humane. Uh, so, yun nakita ko na mahalagang tinahan. This is why I really did some volunteer work sa Correctional Institution for Women. Ang ginawa namin doon, tinignan namin kung sino yung matagal na, uh, na hindi na sentensya na, uh, nagsilbi na, hindi pa nakakalabas. Pero hanggang ngayon, eh hindi pa rin nakakalabas. Kaya uh-huh. naaawa ako. Sana kung meron kayong alam na mga nakakulong pa, pero tapos na yung sentensya, matulungan na mailabas. We need to influence uh-huh. public opinion talaga eh. I uh-huh. am convinced na hindi pa. No? Eh ano, advocacy ko na yun ha. Pero si Raymond, ang, ang tunay na advocacy, he's an organization man, si Raymond. No? And therefore, kaya... Nagulat nga ako when he said he wanted to join bago ang lahat mamamayan muna. Kasi totoo naman, education the, the, must have the heart of the community and the people. Kasi pag hindi, wala lang. Nakagraduate. Ako, I'm very proud, Dr. Elena, na naging estudyante ko, si Vico. 
Vico Soto oh. na mayor ng ano, naging estudyante oh. ko sa atin. Congratulations! Oo. And then, alam mo nangyari sa kanya, dati po lagi siyang late. Nung makita niyang ako, maaga akong pumapasok, maaga na rin siyang pumasok. Siya ngayon ang na-convert ko na discipline. Kasi pag dinaya mo sa oras yung mga tao, dinadaya mo din ang ano, hindi mo lang dinadaya ang gobyerno, dinadaya mo din sarili mo eh. Because you're not being true to what you have done. O Raymond, medyo napagod na ako ng mga sinasabi ko, ikaw naman. Ano yung nakita mo kay Dr. Elena na palagay mo eh, dapat talagang ma-influence natin ang ang body politic or ang community. Nakita ko na ma mahalagang papel ni Dr. Raylena because she's also married to the mayor and the mayor that I have, I've known na talagang very simple man and really a management oriented ang antingin ko sa kanya. Raymond, your turn. Secretary, si Dr. Presnedi ay a sister-in-law ng mayor ng Montindupa. Ang kapatid ho, ni Mayor ang esposo ni Dr. Elena Presnedi. Ah, kapatid. Oh, eh, kapatid medyo connectedness na rin yun. Oh, opo, opo. Sige. And uh, siguro, no, uh, maganda na nabanggit ni Dr. Presnedi no, ang kanyang pananaw tungkol dun sa leadership. No, na sinabi ni Madam President Presnedi na you know, nag-uumpisa ito sa character, no, uh, ang, ang leadership na ito. Uh, Dr. Presnedi, no, sa mahabang panahon na nasa education sector ho kayo, ano po ang uh, masasabi ninyong isa o dalawa no? o tatlo na naging contribution ninyo no? uh, sa pagpapatakbo ng PL Moon or sa naging contribution ninyo sa larangan ng edukasyon? No? Maaaring hindi lang sa PL Moon, kundi sa buong bansa o sa buong bayan. Maaaring niyo pong ibahagi no? ang inyong pong mga naging critical contribution, no? Uh, sa inyong pagstay po sa sa, in, sa sa pagiging bahagi ng education sector sa Pilipinas. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, the fact the factors that uh, I contributed to the education sector when I get myself involved not just in PL Moon kasi PL Moon is uh, local, no? And it's limited to uh, the community of Muntinlupa. However, when I yes. I saw the need uh, to be part of the nationwide, uh, like with Ched, and uh, right now I'm involved with Unifast, no? Uh, our voices, our uh, our concerns are being heard, no? Uh, because they wouldn't know unless we are being represented sa national agencies like CHED and UNIFAS. Uh, of course, uh, I started with Al Alcocoa, by the way. So, yes. yung exposure ko sa Alcocoa na as an accreditor, no? And officer, ayan, o, oh, kaya siguro, kaya ako ginawang treasurer. <laughs> treasurer ng ano, ng alcohol <laughs> for the longest time, no? So, yung... Kasi, kasi hindi mawawala ang pera. <laughs> that's correct po. Oh. <laughs> kasi mahipit din po yung presidente. <laughs> na hindi basta yan nag approve ng uh, walang basis, no? In the same manner, hindi ko din... Uh, in, Ah, uh, pinipirmahan pag wala ding mga supporting documents. <laughs> oh, na kung saan yan mapupunta. So again, going back, I think uh, kasi I know na as I've said, PL Moon is PL Moon. It's a uh, local, no? So and it has been established and of course, there's a lot of uh, sabi mo local nga eh, no? And Yun yung parang big change in in me coming from private where I said very ethical company, you no, know? we have that sense of pride na we work, talagang you earn what the uh, you work what you earn, you no. Know? So yung concept ko nung una na pag uh, public parang 
Ang dali lang. Ang dali lang. Uh-huh. No? Madali lang. Kasi it's not being measured. Wala kasing mga ano eh. Wala kasing mga rules, mga criteria, uh-huh. standards. No? So, but when I uh, started uh, in PL Moon and I'm part of the city government kasi department head ang equivalent ng, ano, ng head sa bawat offices. So, uh, yung process of planning and doon na we make plans. In fact, we have the strategy map. No? We in, uh, ang city invited na mga talagang uh, educators, academicians from Asian Institute no? uh, of Management so, na-professionalize. I would say, hindi totally na-professionalize. No? Kasi mm-hmm. yun nga, I am uh, throwing in a balancing <laughs> mode. No? Yeah. Na, pag sinabi, uh, election time. Wow! Kaila, kaila, alam na alam mo yun. No? Uh, some uh, were taken in because, uh, yun yun, may mga, doon yung connection na tinatawag. Yes. But, I I have to balance, make sure na wala akong uh, wala akong pwedeng ma- makasuhan. <laughs> Hindi ako makasuhan kasi I'm I'm protecting the name of Chris Nelly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yun, yes. Mahalaga sa, mahalaga sa akin yung name, <laughs> no? Uh, sabi nga diyan, uh, a good name is better than riches. So, yeah. uh, we're not super rich, but we're not poor. <laughs> no? So, yeah, yun yung nakita ko na really leading uh, a public university uh, requires a lot uh, of patience, uh, requires a lot of stamina. And the good thing is, uh, because I came from private, yung stress Mani- na mamanage ko yon kasi uh, lagi ka uh, uh, very time pressured naman yung mga ano eh work nung nasa private laging may mga deadlines yan kaya to me that's not new yeah. uh, when you are required to submit this and this no re- mga reports that's not new to me except dito nung pumasok ako uh, ano sila? Na-shock. <laughs> na-shock sila. Kasi sabi nila, bakit daw ang dami kong hinihingi? hinihingi. Reports. So, mga reports. So, so, it turned out na ako bad. <laughs> bad. Uh, good ako in, the, uh, in front of them. But basically, uh, marami akong tinatawa. Hindi naman ako celebrity. But I... <laughs> I found out na may mga buzzers pala ako. <laughs> Oo. Eh, hindi kasi ako nag-open na masyado ng mga Facebook, no? Uh, yes! Tell them comment. Na, oh. Oo, mga ganon. Uh, kaya, uh, sabi nga dyan, uh, choose your battles. So, yes. uh, I, as much as possible, I keep a low profile, no? Para hindi ka masyado. <laughs> oh. so, Taman, uh, tamang-tama, Dr. Lena. Nag-light din dito si Lourdes Karurukan. Good afternoon po, Chancellor Dr. Arcega. Si Sonia Rojo, listening to you. Cora Raymond and guest Dr. Elena. Lita Bautista, good afternoon po sa lahat. Ito yung mga nanonood, nakikinig sa atin. Eh, sabi ng aking uh, IT guy dito, eh, five minutes na lang. So, Raymond, yung ating last salvo na tanong, Si Des- Raymond, maganda yung tanong palagi eh. Yung last salvo namin kay Dr. Uh, Dr. Elena. Okay, maraming salamat uh, Secretary. No? Bagamat uh, si Dr. Presnedi ay isang uh, mahal na kaibigan, matagal na rin mo kami nagkasama. Uh, to- to- today's session is still a revelation to me. No? Uh, this is my first time no? to see Dr. Presnedi on air, right? And uh, little yes. did I know that she's a very strong woman, no? And uh, hindi niya iniisip kung ano ang sasabihin, kundi kung ano yung tama. No? Imagine, no? sinasabi ni Ma'am, oh, you cannot live beyond your means. No? You yes. cannot pretend no? to be that person you're not. No? You cannot have two faces at a time. It's a question of, it's about character. It's too difficult to lead an organization pagkaganan. No? 
And then uh, sinasabi din ni Ma'am, no? Uh, ngayong hapon na ito na uh, importante, no? Importante na maliwanag sa iyo kung bakit na din ka sa organization. So sinasabi ni Ma'am, pag nasa government ka, uh, hindi kung magkano, kung hindi ano ang magagawa mo para sa bayan, sa Diyos at mga tao, no? Imagine from 3M to now uh, to now serving no? a public university. Medyo malayo pero nakita ni ng ating mahal na pagdauhin no ang uh, dahilan kung bakit ikaw ay nagsisilbi sa pamahalaan. So sa ating po mga tagapakinig, uh, maraming salamat no sa inyong uh, pagsama ngayong hapon na ito. Medyo maikli no. I find Dr. Presnedi so energetic, dynamic no. Discussing uh, you know points that you know I, I realize close to her heart, no? Talagang she's, she's talking from the heart, no? At, uh, as, at na, sinasabi nga ni Ma'am yung kanyang mga naging kontribusyon, no? Sa edukasyon, hindi lamang sa PLMON, kundi sa lagat. Para po sa inyo, uh, Dr. Presnedi, no? Uh, ang inyo pong paglilingkod, no? Sa UNIFAST, sa Commission on Higher Education as uh, sitting member of the CHED UNIFAST, no? Representing local colleges and universities, no? Yung pong inyong pagsisilbi bilang kalihim, no? Ng asosasyon, no? ay uh, napakalaking naiambag no para tumaas ang level no at pagtingin no sa mga local colleges and universities sa Pilipinas. Patuloy po kayong mag-ingat, maging malusog at uh, uh, safe Dr. Presnedi. Maraming pong salamat at mabuhay po kayo. Maraming si Dr. Maraming Raymond, salamat. Ay bagong pangulo ng uh, University of ano of uh, Muntinlupa. Muntinlupa. Nakalagay, the new university president of pamantasan ng lungsod ng Muntinlupa. Ngayon, pabibilisan natin ang pagpapalabas ng mga nakakulon sa Muntinlupa na natapos na yung kanilang termino sa Muntinlupa. We have to do something about that. So anyway, final word, Dr. Elena. Reina Elena ng, <laughs> ano, ng Muntinlupa. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's my prayerful wish that, uh, well, we are uh, nearing in 2022 na we'll have uh, a righteous leader that will steer the country towards economic recovery and healthy uh, nation physically not just uh, mentally. Uh, and I believe that the people will support uh, what is good for the country. Yes. So we need, we need uh, well, the educators basically to really uh, inculcate the, the right uh, values. Uh, I remember last time uh, I read that the uh, in Japan, all those uh, ages four and below are being taught more on uh, character, ca mm. character, uh, mo uh, good manners and right conduct, something like that. And they are, are not uh, they are not uh, given tests. After that, that's the only time that they uh, are given tests or examinations. Uh -huh. So the formation really starts from, well, uh, from the kids, no? Uh, so uh, the challenge now is we have grown-up people running the show, no? And uh, I think, I believe we need uh, a lot of prayers, not yeah. just from the, well, not from the religious sector, but everybody, because we believe that we, we have God who is still in full control. No? Uh, I'd like to share nga dito, uh, kasi mm. din ako every day, meron akong devotion. Uh -oh. It says here, anyone, this is my reflection, anyone in trouble beyond one's human ability, call on the Lord God Almighty, the Savior of the world. So well, God bless and God speed. Thank you. Ito naman ay poem ni Rabindra Natagore, which I think speaks about you. Where mind is without fear and head held high, where the world has not been broken to fragments by narrow domestic walls, where tireless strivings stretch their arms towards perfection, 
where the mind is led forward to thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake thank you very much for waking up our country sa mga listeners natin and final words from edward hale i am only one but i am one i cannot do everything but i can do something and what i can do i ought to do and by the grace of god i will do maraming maraming salamat Dr. Elena E. Presnetti, bibisitahin muli ako ang inyong uh, universidad at presidente na si Dr. Raymond Arcega. Maimbita yes. na uli ako doon. Yes, right? you're very much uh, welcome po to join us and <laughs> thank to... Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Picture, for this, picture uh, tayo. Picture.